We're here with Kim Davis, mother of 13 children. Seven of them are biological, six foster children. In January of 2019, she lost her husband of 35 years, who played a huge part in helping to care for those children, as you might guess. Enter Brian Post and the parents and training team. Kim, thank you so much for being here with us. Thank you for having me. <laughs> and I'm, first and foremost, we're so sorry about your loss. Thank you. Please tell us about the role that your husband played when he was there in the picture with those yeah. your 13 children. My husband played a huge role in the picture. Um, he was, he retired early from his job so that he could help with the kids, to be with the kids more. He, took th he retired three years early, he coached sports, he was cheer daddy for my daughter, he took the kids to school, he did a lot of the grocery shopping, he was, um, when the kids would be being difficult for me, he would take them for a while. He would, right. um, two weeks before he died, my daughter had just bought a new house in, um, in Utah and she wanted help decorating it. And for Christmas, he surprised me and let me go for five days and he kept all the kids so I could go be with my older daughter and my grandkids oh. without him. And so he was just that kind of a man. He was a good man yes. <laughs> and a wonderful dad. And tragedy struck. Tragedy struck. And, uh, a very unexpected tragedy. Yeah. I mean, I took him to the hospital with a stomach ache, and the hospital said he was going to be fine. They told me he was going to go home, that I didn't need to let my kids know. And he passed away later that evening. And so the kids didn't get to say goodbye. We were totally caught off guard. So it's. Well, just one second. All right. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. All right, we are rolling. Okay. All right, so it's the next day. It's the next week. What's now happening in your household? The very next day, I had family around that were offering to help, and I got them and took the kids to school because I wanted to try to keep their life as normal as it could be. Um, I wanted to be the one that did it, but it was, I mean, I, my husband took the kids to school. That wasn't my job. I, my two youngest ones have autism, and the youngest one has a hard time going out in public and stuff, so I stayed home a lot, and my husband was the one who went. Um, there was, since my husband's died, this, I, I tell this to people, there's not been a single day that I've gotten to stay home all day since he died. And I was somebody who didn't leave the house sometimes for four and five days, because I have to go do I have to be the one to do it. I have to take them to school. I have to get them home from school. Um, we all kind of fell apart. The kids were so having a really hard time. They were having we're behaviors, fighting. yes. I wasn't liking me. I was yelling a lot. I'm not a, usually, a, I was not being a good mom. I was stressed, just stressed to the point where I, the house was just chaotic, trying to keep it all together and do it ourselves. and and to comfort them and I also try not to cry in front of them. I didn't want to show that I was broken down. I wanted to stay strong and realizing that they probably really needed to see me cry. They needed to know. But I, I was with my husband from the time I was 17. So mm. I didn't know the world. this was it. Right. This is all I knew. Right. Um, so they're obviously trying to find a way to adjust. You're trying to find a way to adjust. How long did this go on before Brian Post entered the picture? Um, we were actually in a different group that was trying to help us, and we were getting some support, but it wasn't a whole lot. I think in June, Michelle, a friend of mine, told me about Brian and him coming, and did I want to go to a lecture he was giving with her, and telling me what was being offered, mm -hmm. and um, I went. and. I mean, it went really pretty quick after that. It really did. And I, I'd been with this other group that was trying to help us for two years. And within two weeks, Brian was doing more than that group had done in two years for my family. She's love. She's love.